Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. Good morning. Our Mass today is being offered for all parishioners of St. Francis of Xavier. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us, to pardon what conscience dreads, and to give what prayer does not dare to ask, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, after 14 years, I again went up to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along also. I went up in accord with a revelation, and I presented to them the gospel that I preached to the Gentiles, but privately to those of repute so that I might not be running, or have run in vain. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter to the circumcised, for the one who worked in Peter for an apostolate to the circumcised, worked also in me for the Gentiles. And when they recognized the grace bestowed upon me, James and Cephas and John, who were reputed to be pillars, gave me and Barnabas their right hand, their right hands in partnership, that we should go to the Gentiles, and they to the and they to the circumcised. Only we were to be mindful of the poor, which is the very thing I was eager to do. And when Cephas came to Antioch. I opposed him to his face, because he clearly was wrong. For until some people came from James, he used to eat with the Gentiles. But when they came, he began to draw back and separated himself, because he was afraid of the circumcised. And the rest of the Jews acted hypocritically along with him, with the result that even Barnabas was carried away with their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not on the right road in line with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas in front of all, If you though a Jew are living like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you compel the Gentiles to live like Jews? The word of the Lord. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. 
Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. as sons, through which, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not subject us to the final test. The Gospel of the Lord. So I guess for the most part in school I did pretty well. Um, so I didn't really have any kind of testing anxiety. In fact, I, I thought I got pretty good at figuring out what the teacher wanted and taking notes and, and wasn't worried about tests so much. But I can understand that some people do get quite nervous and quite um, paralyzed sometimes when it's time to take a test, anxiety that they don't perform well. Well, that's um, a, a real fear, and I think I thought of that when I saw St. Luke's version of the Our Father today, because he the part that sticks out as most different is subject us not to the final test. Uh, now, if that's difficult for you, maybe imagine it as a final meeting with God the Father. With God the Father who is a merciful, yes, a just judge, but a merciful judge. And we have to remember to often pray for this, what we call final perseverance, to remain in God's grace throughout our lives so that we're ready to meet him on the judgment day. Meet him in his mercy and his judgment. Um, we pray for that grace to remain faithful to him in our spiritual practices. I've, I've met with a handful of those close to the end of their lives who just share with me candidly, Father, I'm losing faith. I'm, I don't understand what's happening. You know, I feel in a dark spot. Uh, I'm scared. I, I comfort them and I visit them frequently. I never like to leave anyone like that. And quite often, almost always, they just turn around and say, yeah, I'm in God's grace now. I know he's there. And often accompanied by bringing them communion frequently, which is no um, uh, coincidence, because the, the Eucharist is our spiritual food. But that gift of final perseverance is just that, it's a gift. We have to pray for it, we have to work towards it, but ultimately we just cooperate with God's will through prayer, through um, acts of good works and charity, and most of all through the sacraments. So may the Lord strengthen each one of us, may the Lord encourage us to to. Pray for and support those who are at the end of their life, and may he give us that grace to persevere to the end when we will meet our loving Heavenly Father. Gather as one body in Christ and offer the following petitions. For all members of the church, May the Holy Spirit continue to guide us and sanctify us. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For leaders of nations and peoples, may God provide them with the spiritual and practical resources they need for effective and compassionate 
policy making, and governing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who lack the basic necessities of life, may their needs be met, and may they be blessed with the strength and support they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who are recovering from the effects of hurricanes this season, and all those who are in the path of hurricanes um, currently, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, in your mercy, you hear the prayers of your children who come to you in their need. These hear and answer these in all prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread of life, fruit of the earth, and work of the human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual strength. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son. Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we pray. Holy, 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 Lord God, have mercy on us. Glory to the Son of God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are ye holy, O Lord, the Father of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this 
this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim here. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, for the blessed apostles and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called from the supper of the Lamb. Lord, The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him.
grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Sing like all the other things that are said.